Bereshit, Genesis 25. And again, Avraham took a woman, and her, her name was Keturah. And she bore him at Zimran, and at Yokshan, and at Midan, and at Midian, and at Yishbak, and at Shuak, and Yokshan begat at Shiva, and at Dedan, and the sons of Dedan were Asherim, and Letishim, and Leumim, and the sons of Midian, Apha, and Ephor, and Shanak, and Ivida, and Eldaah. All these were the children of Keturah. And Avraham gave et all that he had unto Yitshak. But unto the sons of the concubines, which Avraham had, Avraham gave gifts and sent them away from Yitshak, his son, while he yet lived eastward unto the east country. And these are the days of the years of Abraham's life, which he lived a hundred, threescore, and fifteen years. Then Avraham gave up his rock and died in a good old age, an old man, and full of years, and was gathered to his people. And his son Yitzhak and Yishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah, in the field of Ephron, the son of Sokar, the Chitti, which is before Mamre, the field which Avraham purchased of the sons of Cheth, there was Avraham buried, and Sarah, his woman. And it came to pass after the death of Avraham that Elohim blessed his son at Yitzhak. And Yitzhak dwelt by the well Be'er, La Chai Ra'i. Now these are the generations of Yishmael, Avraham's son, whom Hagar the Mitzrium, Sarah's handmaid, bore unto Avraham. And these are the names of the sons of Yishmael. By their names, according to their generations, the firstborn of Yishmael, Nevayath, and Kidar, and Adbael, and Mivsam, and Mishma, and Duma, and Masa, Hadar, and Tima, Yatur, Nafish and Quedema, these are the sons of Yishmael, and these are their names. By their towns and by their castles, twelve princes according to their nations. And these are the years of the life of Yishmael, a hundred and thirty and seven years, and he gave up his Ruach and died, and was gathered unto his people. And they dwelt from Chavayala unto Shur, that is before Mitzrayim, as you go toward Ashura. And he died in the presence of all his brethren. And these are the generations of Yitzhak, Avraham's son. Avraham begat Et Yitzhak. And Yitzhak was 40 years old when he took Et Rivkwa to be his woman, the daughter of Bethuel, the Arami of Padan Aram, the sister to Levan, the Arami. And Yitzhak entreated Yahuwah for his woman, because she was barren. 
Yahuwah was entreated of him, and Rivqua, his woman, conceived. The child struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of Et Yahuwah. Yahuwah said unto her, Two nations are in your womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from your bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other people, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red, all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Yaakov. And Yitzhak was threescore years old when she bore them. And the boys grew, and Esau was a cunning hunter, a man of the field. And Yaakov was an upright man, dwelling in tents. And Yitzhak loved at Esau because he did eat of his venison. But Rivka loved at Yaakov. And Yaakov sawed pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to El Yaakov, Feed me, I pray you, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom. And Yaakov said, Sell me this day your et birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I'm at the point to die. What profit shall this birthright do to me? And Yaakov said, Swear to me this day. And he swore unto him, and he sold his et birthright unto Yaakov. Then Yaakov gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his et birthright.